Superheat and subcooling are measurements we'd use in the field. Much like a doctor is going to use blood pressure to check to see how your body is doing, we're going to use superheat and subcool to see how the system is doing. So in order to be able to get superheat, we're going to start looking at the suction side gauge, the blue gauge, and finding the saturated temperature. Now, we're going to look at either the green for the R22 or the pink for 410A. You'll notice that it has 43 degrees of temperature. What that is, is the indoor coil temperature is 43 degrees. Next, what we're going to do is measure the suction line temperature. This is going to be the large line right outside the condenser. Measuring that with an accurate thermometer, you can see that we have 53 degrees. The difference between those two temperatures was 10 degrees. That's 10 degrees of superheat. The next thing we're going to do today is measure the subcooling. Subcooling happens on the outdoor unit, on the condenser. So now what we're going to do is look at the red head pressure gauge. Under the pink or under the green, you're going to see that we have 110 degree condenser saturation temperature or 110 degree coil temperature. Now with an accurate thermometer, again, we're going to measure the liquid line as it leaves the condenser. You see we have 95 degrees, 110 degrees in the condenser, 95 degrees as it leaves. We have subcooled that refrigerant 15 degrees. Knowing the superheat and knowing the subcooling will help you identify how that system is doing.